Hello, this video is part one of the MRI Simmons Quick Reports videos, um, and this is using the National Household Consumer Survey. So, my name is Cinta Sellers, and I'm one of the business librarians here at Miami University Library, and I'm going to give you a short overview of MRI Simmons Quick Reports, and then later on in video two, we're going to talk about the MRI Simmons Connect Survey. Um, if you are looking for basic information about how to use MRI Simmons, in particular the crosstab feature, which is the default screen here, so this is actually the MRI Simmons crosstab, um, I would suggest you watch a video my colleague Abby Morgan made about this. So before we get started, why would you want to use the Quick Reports feature in this database? Well, it provides summaries around a particular topic, for example, demographic information for a particular brand, consumer, or product. Okay, so we are in MRI Simmons. So to get to quick reports, go to Essentials, and then select Quick Reports. So now that we are here, um, we can see that with the exception of the first three reports, demographic profile, this is market segmentation, and maps, that the other reports, so these other reports, are all grayed out. So I'll explain more about this in the next video, but for now, let's search for a product by a particular brand. So I'm interested in Diet Coke. So this is where we type in the name of our product, and I'm interested in people who might be described as Diet Coke addicts, so frequent Diet Coke drinkers. And so we've already typed in Diet Coke, and from here we need to select the option that begins with the word beverages. So this box over here. And once we've done that, we get a lot of other options. This is the Diet Coke brand summary. This is the people who drink Diet Coke and other brands. Um, what we want to do is select the not Diet Coke with Lime, not Diet Coke with Splenda, but Diet Coke 5 or more. This indicates people who have purchased five or more Diet Colas in the last seven days. We need to select this and make this our target data point. And by, to do that, you select target over here. And as the demographic profile is the report that is highlighted, this is the default quick report. So it is, we have selected this as our target. This is the default quick report, so we're going to look at the demographic profile of these heavy Diet Coke users, and we can click on this arrow to see this particular report. So these are our demographics related to Diet Coke lovers. We can repeat this process for the next report also that looks at market segmentation, but let's take a look at some of the demographic um, information we receive. So, the base is everyone who took part in the Spring 2019 National Household Consumer Survey. So that sample size is 23,615 people. So of that number, people who I refer to as heavy Diet Coke users uh, account for 863 people. So some general statistics, we can see that the median income is about $91,000 for these people. Their average, or their, sorry, median age is 53. Employment, full or part-time, 64% are. How many people are married? The percentage of people with children and homeowners. Then we can look at, okay, high school graduate, college graduate, less than high school or some college. Ethnicity, again, household income, race, age, and a gender breakdown. 
So that's pretty interesting. Again, that could help you determine a couple of things with a marketing report or how you might want to advertise to this particular group of heavy Diet Coke users. To go back and look at the other reports, you can click on this dashboard button and then you can look at market segmentation. Again, we've already identified our target data point here. We've already got our base. Again, that's going to be that 23,615 people who took the Spring 2019 National Household Consumer Survey. So once you've selected the other report, you can click on this Run Analysis arrow. And we will see, okay, for this particular group of heavy Diet Coke drinkers, the way they think about food is identified. So the majority of these people are actually variety on a budget. So these people are very busy and frequently eat on the run. Uh, they see frozen food as a convenient alternative to preparing meals with fresh ingredients, etc. There are also a number of reformed traditionals and it gives um, a definition for that particular group as well. You can also choose um, a different market segmentation to look at. So we could look at something like EV product placement as sodas tend to be heavily um, promoted through TV product placement. So the majority of heavy diet Coke drinkers are noticers. They're devoted to TV and notice branded goods or services that are placed in t television shows, but they are less likely than the average viewer to remember the product later and do not feel that placement in the television program affects their shopping behavior. And then the second highest group are indifference. They have neutral attitudes toward TV product placement. They're disengaged when it comes to noticing or remember products in television shows. So just keep in mind that you can actually change the market segmentation here, which is kind of a nice feature. Again, if we want to go back and look at the other graph, we can click on Dashboard, select Maps, and click on this arrow. Again, I always point out the base here is the same, so the space is connected again, sorry, with the survey, and this is the target sample. So this tells us what region has the highest number of heavy Diet Coke drinkers, and that is actually the Midwest. So the sample is 196 people, and the index number is 129. Index numbers are important in this database. If they are significantly over 100, then pay attention. 129 is that um, people who live in the Midwest are 29% um, more likely to be um, these heavy Diet Coke users. So again, that could affect how you market this particular product um, by region. People in the West are slightly more likely, as you can see the index number is 105, to drink a lot of Diet Coke. People in the South, they're less likely, 89, so that would be 11% less likely. And finally, people in the Northeast, 84, so they're 16% less likely to be heavy Diet Coke drinkers. So that is the end of this particular video.